that a parent is appearing as a parrot Appealing to a patent for a packet of a paddock For a patron of a palace, it's a parody of panic Appended to my appendix where my penmanship a parrot This is the beginning of the end There ain't no use in running My problem you knew was coming Not when the hell But from then to now It's all gone down And I think this is the beginning of the end Cause I'm the shit, 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 shit Always been the dude Ask about me, they said I always been cool Cause I'm the shit, 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 shit Fly than the others Always been hot like a fire in the summer How'd you get so dope, dope? Even I wonder Some try to do, but we supply thunder Cause I'm the shit, 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 shit I'm just saying what you're thinking That's the reason why they listen up and love it when we speak it Look Alright, we are here at the Got Beef second birthday Can everybody make some fucking noise, please? Yeah. We are about to get into the second battle of the day. I'm just gonna get straight into it. To my right, we got some broadcast. I always keep the horsemen in my corner. Learn to be raw from war and ill from pestilence, so your petulance is irrelevant when I mention it in my sentences. <laughs> Alright, to my left, making his second appearance, we got Miss. I'm that little man with attitude, so fuck you if you feel offended. Ain't it funny that I just cancelled out this broadcast like his segment just got accent ended? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do a very irregular flip. Do you want Nokia or do you want phone? Camera. Go with camera. It is camera who's going first. We're about to get 60 seconds on this. If everybody can keep it down, please. As soon as you're ready. Rumor has it that this fat bitch is a compulsive shit talker. But you can tell why he'd lie. I mean, he's got nothing else going for him except this dangerous eating disorder. So fuck it, I came here to serve you, so there's no chance of you beating me. I mean, how are you gonna try and rhyme and win when you're still in your motherfucking battle with obesity? Yeah. And, uh, no one be afraid, cause this fat prick ain't strapped with gats. As a matter of fact, this pack with about 50 Big Macs that have shoved up his fucking ass crack. Hey, and fucking... There's no chance of you beating me, so I'm down the murky. If we shaved him and painted him purple, he'd look like Grimace from McDonald's, but you're worse, dude. Fuck, I lost my shit, but I'll keep on going and flow with freestyle. I'll keep you flowing like you're running Egypt, just fucking streaming down denial. Actually, you think he's fat? You should see his mother. The bitch can barely walk. When he was a young dog, his mum couldn't even get out of the family room hammock. Like, Nathan, get mama's prying board. <laughs> <laughs> see, judging by his whole family line, the cunt is fat as shit. I mean, how can you even see your own dick the piss behind those double D tits? Alright, oh, time! Make some noise! Make some noise! Yeah. Alright, it's 60 seconds on broadcast. Now I put your rhyme skill in the same regard as Hercules, Hydras, mythical fires, walk dwarves swinging broadswords and singing choirs as sirens. Basically what I'm getting at is your skills do not exist, you grossly gross stunted hormonal prick. <laughs> See I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a guess and say that his height and his vocab stopped going at the same time. In grade nine. And you prayed no cuts would notice it. <laughs> what I find really funny though. Is he claim you're making these huge moves in the scene, but with those two midgets, feet I find it hard to believe. So I'm gonna throw you in a giant's room that you find hard to leave, and pit him against a big cunt that he finds hard to beat. And he's like, fuck the bars, I'll just go hard! And then he'll start to bite my knees. <laughs> stupid lollipop guild looking motherfucker. <laughs> So fuck you and your mind penetrating persuasion. I'm gonna sit in quiet contemplative concentration and work out if he is a myth. Or just a fucking figment of my own imagination. <laughs> I think it's time you go find Dorothy. Go tell her to go follow the Ellicott Road or the way to Emerald City to go find a wizard that nobody knows. <laughs> Alright, that's time. Make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we need to get the crowd. 
crowd to wake up, for real. Let's get the next 60 seconds on mids. Right. So we were supposed to have Thesaurus here in this venue tonight. So I'm down to show him that my rebuttal game is sharper. Compared to me and you, my vocabulary is smarter. It ain't hard to tell I've got these rhyme schemes mastered. In my last battle, Larry can call me mini-me and I guess the dude was right because now I'm facing fat bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Your boobs are flubby. Aussie fat, homeless version of Sprung. He walks around his living room like fee fi fo fum Goes to jump in his pool, but he's too big to skinny dip, so he just chunky dunks. <laughs> and uh, I should call you a married garbage man, because it's easy for me to rubbish you. I shop in the kids section at Kmart, but your wife is pussy so loose, I could drag that bitch down the aisle and finger her with a big W. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> Five Right, it's time now. Alright, time! Make some noise! Alright, let's get that next round of ball. Car 60 seconds. Now this is proof why I don't understand on a hype for this lad. So I figured I'm gonna stand here, slap him, get mad, maybe smash him, stick this poly in my pocket, probably get done for kidnap. You wanna do miss? Ah. Oh. See, I could bathe in ambrosia, watch me raise and disown you, then speak fictitious godly tasks as fact. Right before I spawn a horde of horn demons ready to take over and watch them go for your neck with stab and effect, you stand as wrecked and the manage damage status until you have no respect. Yeah. See, I'm guessing Maddie's parents were ashamed. That's why they chose to have him raised in a basement where he spent his days playing with razor blades and bathing glazed basins. Until the wondrous day he came of age and they came down to take him to Willy Wonka career day. Now he spends his days getting paid to glazing candy bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking orange face cunt. <laughs> See, every time I battle, I always bring something new and improved. You just recycle bars in a never-ending loop. It's an unsuspensable truth. I mean, for real, I heard he wasn't even going to prep a third round for me. He wasn't. He was just going to re-sing the song that he sung to Augustus Gloop. <laughs> what do you get when you go to <laughs> Stupid. Time, make some noise! <laughs> Alright, we're having a good time. Let's get 60 seconds on this. Alright. You better stop your life's line act before you make this line act. I'm here to take the scene by storm and break what stops me in my tracks. Cause no veterans are down and mentioned in vain, we'll never measure in fakes. They got me questioning this stage, just its intelligence. Cray shot with adrenaline and raise. This ain't your residence, cause I'm packing blades and knives to rest assured with that of severing. Yeah. Your whole life is a hoax. Every day you probably boast. Like me and Decoy are mad close. I even got to do a 2v2 battle with him and he allows me to co host. As a rhymer, you are shit. Always off point like the blunt, even, uh, blunt end of an arrow. I don't mean to be rude to Decoy and any other rapper this dude follows, but why the fuck would you want to be behind in somebody else's goddamn shadow? We should call this a flawless victory, because in this battle, you never contended. This ain't a split personality from jokes to rage. This is just my Scottish descendant. I'm that little man with attitude, so fuck you if you feel offended. Ain't it funny that I just cancelled out this broadcast like his segment just got accent ended? Let's get that last round of broadcast. Let's go. Now there's a really big difference between a myth and a legend, like original script to reference, like a weekend in the cop shop compared to a life sentence. You see, you're just a story on the breeze with no lasting impression. So if this bars and stars that a path to be remembered, you'll need a restart as a half ass, smart ass to broadcast this member. See, it's time for you to learn the fact that rap is something that you ain't skilled in. And the Grim Reaper right now, sunshine, <laughs> done. Yeah. Killed him. Yeah. See, I always keep the horsemen in my corner. Learn to be raw from war and ill from pestilence. So your petulance is irrelevant when I mention it in my sentences. You see, I can walk to my front door, have my kids cheer and go, Dad. And that makes me a bigger man than all the hype you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was amused by it. Nah, time can't remember. Got a good time? All right, then it's time. Please make some noise for that battle. Judges, we'll be right back. You! I uh, just watched Myths and Broadcast. Um, I'm going to give that one a broadcast. Strictly, it's just a lot more um, energy. Uh, his delivery was, you know, he just came harder and he just was more prepared, you know, for the day. So, broadcast. Well, this is Skank MC. First round of broadcast. Second two to Myths. I give it to Myths. Myths. 
cracking. Um, that's hard as fuck. Uh, I was going to base it on slip ups until broadcast slipped up a little bit as well. Honestly, no. On delivery alone, I'm going to give it to broadcast slightly, but shout out to Miss, he's ill. And that's about it. Cool. Broadcast first miss. Two to one decision. That went to broadcast. Make some noise once again.